Oh my gosh. Good. Finally. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are Hello. you? Good evening. Very well. Okay, great. Good. Good, good, good. Good to see you too. Okay, let's see how many people do we have here today. Just let me close this. Okay, we have uh, 16. I'm gonna give a little bit minutes, a little bit more of time. to see who else connects. Okay, we have 19. Okay, let's get ready. I know somebody in the chat. Hello, teachers. Okay. The Gmail, then we have 20. Okay, boys, today we're going to start with this pattern is so slow today. Okay, I'm gonna take the first uh, chat, chat to chat. Okay, so then uh, let me take the screenshot first just to check the attendance uh, give me a second here we go
We have the first one. One more. Okay, guys, let's get it started then. Okay. Now, no problem. I have the attendance ready. Okay, so this is, I'm going to play back this one for you to remember you know, as a review, right, of what we were studying here. Now this is the imperatives. Hi everyone, in this class you learn how to okay, use let me... positive and negative. The imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just, I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick, and we go to doctors, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay late. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take the verb. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. Don't drink cold 
drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Okay, this is the last video we watched uh, last uh, Friday, right? And then uh, I don't know if you have any questions about how. Whenever you have how to use the negative. Kind of illness. Kind of illness. Okay, so we have the affirmative: take take a pill every four hours, rest in bed, drink lots of beer, don't work, don't stay up, and don't drink soda. Negative, affirmative. Okay. Remember that we can use it for different situations too, right? It could be um, a advice, if it is an order, if it is a command, or if it is just uh, instruction, okay, or cooking or recipe. Okay. No questions so far? No. No questions. Okay. Then we have the instruction to this uh, complete these sentences with your words in the box by using the words call, stay, don't go, don't drink, see, take, don't worry, and don't see. All right. So then we have this one. Stay, don't drink, call, take, don't worry, don't eat, don't go or see. Which one? Call. call. Okay, then we have the second one. Which one would you choose? It says too much. Don't worry. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. All right, and the next one? Take, take, take. Okay, sorry. All right, then. Take. Four. Don't go. What? Somebody said something. Don't go. Don't, Don't go. go. Don't go. And then option. Stay. 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 Okay, so you see here, call a dentist, sounds, you know, like a, like an advice. Don't eat too much, it's another advice. Take two aspirin, also it's an advice. Don't go to school. Okay, so these ones are, you know, sounds like advice. Stay in bed. Teacher. And uh, number... See a doctor. Teacher. Uh, yes? Hey, la doctor, okay, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Too much. Don't worry too much. Okay. Yes. No, we're going yes. to see at the end. No problem. And the number six? See a doctor. See. See, see a doctor. See a doctor. Okay. Uh, seven? Don't drink, seven. Don't drink coffee. Uh, which one is that? Don't drink. Then don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Okay, number two. Don't worry. So don't much. worry. Don't worry. So much. Okay. So how many we have? Two, four, six, eight. And then and don't eat is the last one. Okay, there you go. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. That's your recall. Those are the tricks we have. Somebody needs to. Okay. Now we clear them. In the meeting of the verbs, no call, stay, no. So if you have questions, just so. Uh, Diego, Diego Arturo, would you please read this uh, lesson objective here? By the end of this class, we will read and discuss 
an article about how to improve your health. Additionally, you will develop a skill in scanning and reading for many ideas. Okay, good. So then we have, for example, you will develop a skill in a scanning and reading for main ideas. Remember the reading that we had the other day, right? This is a reading strategy. Okay, now we have scan information. In this case, this specific information is the main idea. This class develops skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Good exercise. Good exercise. And Reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise. And exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need dairy foods. Like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, sit down and listen to me. Okay. I guess this one looks better, but I'm still. Yes, here. Yes, we can have a better picture of it. Okay, so we have 10 simple ways, right? 10 simple ways. To... Yes? Hello? Thank you, speaking. Okay, then hey, we have 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, 10 simple ways. So the first one is eat breakfast, two, go for a walk, three, floss your teeth, four, drink eight cups of water every day, five, stretch for five minutes, six, wear a seat belt, seven, do something to challenge your brain, nine, protect your skin, okay, eight, right? Nine, get enough calcium. Then take a time out break of about 20 minutes. Okay. No problem with those. Okay, ideas here. If you see, all of them are imperative. Eat breakfast. Okay. Uh, go for a walk. Close to see. Dream. Stretch. Wear. Do. Protect. Get. Take. Okay. Something like you know, like an advice. Okay, of what things you have to do. Uh, Evelyn, would you please read the first one? Number one. Okay. 
eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Perfect. Uh, Fernando, read the number two. Fernando Joaquin. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise. And exercise is necessary for your health, for good health. Yeah. For your health. Okay, good. Hey, how about number three? Number three. Yes, number three. Don't just brush them, flossing keeps your gums healthy. Health. Okay, so you see it's just floss with teeth. No problem with the vocabulary in this moment? Yes, teacher. No. Uh-huh. What's mean floss? Floss. Okay, floss is a, is a piece of the string. It's a piece of the string that they, you use to clean your teeth. Okay, then this is the, the floss. Then you can buy it. You buy the box like this, and then you pull it. Okay. Then you cut it. That is the floss. Okay. Thank you. And then we have, who else do we have here? Let me say a name. Daniel, could you please read the number four? Number four, drink eight cups of the water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. In many ways. Okay, very good. Many ways. Thank you. Rodrigo, read the next one, number five. Okay, teacher. It stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscle. Okay, now Jorge, read the number six, please. Okay, number six. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belt is Save thousands of lives, right? Okay, good. You did. Can you read number seven? No puedo leer bien. No se ve bien. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Más a la izquierda. Wait. Now? No. Let me, let me, let me, let me try. Wait a minute. No, no, I can't to the left. That's the maximum to the left. Oh. No, you don't see it. Okay, no problem. Yeah, because uh, if I make it bigger, like now? Yeah, see. Sí. Okay, number seven. Uh, seven. Do something to challenge, for example, a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Or read a new book. Okay, great. Then uh, let me see what else do we have. Uh, Evelyn Jeanette, number eight. Okay, teacher. Protect your skin. Use it a lot of, of moisturizers and source cream. Moisturizer. Moisturizer and source cream. Great. Azucena, number nine. Okay. Get an out calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy food like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Very good, excellent. And we have one more, Ismail. Could you please read number 10? Take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Uh, do something different, for example, get up and walk mm -hmm. or sit down and listen to music. And listen to music, okay. Okay, people, question. Questions about vocabulary. Me I have a question. Yes, uh-huh. What is the meaning moisturizing? Moisturizing. Moisturizing. Okay. Uh, for example, the remember that sometimes the when you don't drink water or when you expose yourself to the sun for a long time, then your your skin is very dry. Okay. Dry. Yes. You get dry. Yes. Okay. Then what you do is, for example, there are some special. Some special, uh, let's say, uh, creams. Some special, uh, let's say, liquid that you put in on your skin, and then after that, it looks like humid. It looks brilliant. It looks nice. It's moisture. Okay. 
also probably uh, it's like when you get up and then you just put a little water in your face just to make it look humid, right? That is moisturized, como humedores, right? Humedecer la piel, right? Okay, yes. thank you. So just put some moisturizer so that you don't feel so, so dry. What else? Uh, let me see here, do something. So for fastball, three. Stretching, no, right? Let's look at the picture of the lady. Belt, teacher. Okay, belt is, okay, usually, usually, or most of the time, the men use it around your pants. Okay, uh, in the cars. Also, look at this picture here in the number six. The seat belt. Okay, this one is to protect you in case of accident. Okay, this image here. This is the seat belt. And also, you can use a belt to uh, to hold your pants up, right? And that's the the belt. Yes. The boxer, do you know the, the boxers, the people who boxes? What do the boxers get? They give them a what? A what? That they put it around their... Cinturones. Yes, that's right. So then that is a belt, right? So then sorry, they get a belt. A belt also in your car, a belt also for your pants. Okay, so has you can use it in different contexts. Okay. Okay, good. So then let's go back to this one here, and then it says that a read a read the article, then complete the sentence. So what do we have to do here? Okay, number one says, to get exercise, what do we need to do? Eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk, or stretch for five minutes? Go for a walk. Stretch for five minutes. Can we mark two or one? No, I don't know. Go for two. a walk. Three. No, only one. This number one. three. This one, go for a walk. Okay. What do you do to help the bones? Get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. Okay, where do we get the calcium? Do you remember? In where? products. Huh? In, In dairy, dairy products. products. Dairy, uh, dairy products, right? Milk, cheese, uh, cream. Okay, in that kind of products, we have the calcium. But to help your muscle, what do we need to help our muscle? Let's stretch for five minutes. Let's stretch for five minutes, yes. To keep your gums healthy. Close your teeth. Close your teeth. Close yes. your, teeth. your teeth. Remember that the gum is where the, where the teeth are, right, so then we have that the I mean the, the gun. So plus two. Okay, to have energy for the morning. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat, eat breakfast. breakfast. Okay, eat breakfast. To challenge your brain. To a crossword person. On reading book. A uh, crossword puzzle or read a new book. So you know that the this one to challenge your brain is also good for the Alzheimer's, right? So it's always good to keep your your brain busy and thinking. Okay, because in that way uh, your brain is is working and then the the Alzheimer you know goes away. At least you know. Oh, helps, helps a lot. Okay, let's see if they are correct. Good. 
Okay. Good. So we're doing good with the reading. Okay, so this is an old book. Okay, guys, any girls and boys, any questions? No. No. Okay. We're doing okay now? Yes. Okay, remember that in this, um, in this unit, I mean, in this lesson, because this is the last one. Okay, here we finish the section two. At the beginning, we study the body, vocabulary, right? Vocabulary about the body, head, chest, nose, and legs, arms, knees. Okay, after that, we have the how do you feel? I have a headache, or I feel terrible, I feel good, I feel bad. And then you think have plus a noun and feel plus an adjective. Okay. After that, uh, we studied the common medications, right? Pronunciation of some words, aspirin, aspirin, and acid. Uh, then we have the cough syrup, the cough drop. The copial night. And then we had the imperatives, right? Negative form, affirmative form, right? Remember that with the imperatives, we do not, we do not use the subject, right? You say, for example, stand up, and you don't you don't say you stand up, okay, or you don't say uh uh, we stand up. You say in this case, stand up, everybody. Uh, turn on your cameras, everybody. Turn off your camera. Turn on your microphone. Turn off your mic. Okay, so then these are the uh, instructions in general. And we do not use the, uh, the subject. I, he, she, if we do that. And then uh, today we had the uh, the, re the review with the uh, verbs. Last Friday we had another practice. Now here we have a what else? An article about improve your health. Okay, using the imperative and uh, getting some information from the reading. And that's the end. Okay, now we're moving to section three. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Okay. What do you think this lesson is going to be about? What do you think this section is going to be about? Lugares. Places, uh -huh. vocabulary Lugares. about places. Compras. Uh huh. Stores. Okay. Uh, where you can get different things. For example, where can you buy shoes? Where can I get a pair of uh, said, uh some pants, a shirt, uh, some medicine? Okay. Where can I get some gas? You know, the gas station. Okay. So this is what we are going to be checking here. Then uh. This is, okay, look at this one, it says vocabulary for places and things. For example, the places that we can mention in general, for example, church, gas station, a department store, a mall, a shopping center, 
uh, what else? Uh, a cinema, a restaurant, Chinese restaurant, a fast food restaurant. Uh, you can have also Japanese restaurant, Mexican food, Mexican restaurant. Okay, so then you can have a great variety of places. Okay, a stadium. Okay, you can also have a car dealers. Okay, where you can buy a car. Okay, let's see what else. A drugstore where you can buy medicine. Okay, a convenience store. Okay, a store where you can buy a small store, a smaller than a supermarket. For example, like the stores they have in the gas stations. Those are convenience stores because you go and sometimes there are no stores around, but there is one in the gas station and it's very convenient for the people. Things are more expensive, right? They cost more money, but it is the convenience. Okay, now let's see here. What they said about this. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, these pictures are very small. Set a post office. I'm going to try to... Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's... Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for store... Four. Okay, let's see if we can see the vocabulary here. The first one is a bank. The next one is a drugstore. Then we have a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, restaurant, and then we have a bookstore. And then we have a, can you read this? Department. Department something. Department, department you can buy store. gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Well, we have a Six. Department store. You can buy stamps at a post office. The post office. Okay. Well, let me Seven. Go. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now, uh, that's what I want you to do now. And you're going to tell me, for example, where you can buy some things, okay? Imagine that you are giving us a, a for example, we have to a help. Like if you were giving uh, suggestions to people, right? For example, you can buy, uh, you can buy a, let's say a pair of shoes, at a shoe store, okay? 
Now you say you can uh, think about sentences. You can you can buy. You can get. Uh, you can uh, yeah those two. You can get or you can buy. For example, where can you buy a uh, sandwich? Then you can buy a sandwich. Where? In a restaurant. In a restaurant. What else? In a fast food restaurant. Okay, you can. Uh, fast food is you know like the Subway, Pizza Hut. So those are fast food, right? And the other restaurants are you know like I don't know, uh, Pampa or. Uh, how do you call this one? Uh, I forgot it. But they sell only meat. It's a carne, no, what's the name? I don't remember. But there is one where they sell only meat, apparently. You don't remember that place? There is one near Uca. Ah, Lomo y la Uca. That's the name. Right, where you can buy, for example, those are restaurants, right? Because they have a, it's more formal, right? More formal. Okay, what else? What is another one? Tell me something, you can buy. Anything, car shoes, food, uh, medicine, uh, cups. So where can we get cups? Uh, watches, a watch. Where can you buy a watch? Uh, shoes, um, glasses. Okay, where can you buy glasses? Uh, a ring, maybe. I don't have a ring, but you have a ring or a necklace. Collar, right? Necklace. Uh, what else? Uh, a table. A computer. Okay. For example, where can I buy a computer? Where can I buy a computer? I need to buy a computer. Where can I buy it? For example, I can buy a computer in in Acuastao, Prado, Simán, for example. Exactly, right. And then, uh, and you can also say, I can buy a computer in a, in a department store. Okay. What is a department store? It's uh, those stores that have many departments. Right? For example, you know, here we have, uh, well, in the United States, you have uh, Macy's. Here in Salvador, you have uh, Simán, you have I don't know, Sanborn, uh, Sears, because you have a department for clothes, a department for uh, furniture, a department for uh, boys, a department no. for girls, men, women. So there is a special space for many things. That's a department, divided in the park. Okay, what else? That's correct. I, I can buy a computer in a department store, or if you want to say the name of the store, you say the name of the store. For example, where can I buy a cheap computer nowadays? Cheap and good computer. If you know. In technology store. Inter? Technology store. Okay, you can buy a cheap and nice computer at a technology store, right? Okay, good. What else? What else? For example, mm -hmm. you can buy hammer in the hardware store. Perfect, exactly. You see, that's great. Okay, yeah. Then, uh, for example, if you want, if you need a hammer, you know hammer people. Yes, everybody. Hammer. Yes, yes. Yeah. Martillo. Martillo, correct, very good. Where can you buy a hammer? In a hardware store. A hardware store is general, right? You don't say the name of the store. Very good. What else? And a screwdriver? What 
Where can I buy a screwdriver? Where can I buy a screwdriver? A screwdriver? We use them in the house, the mechanic. No, a screwdriver is the, the object that we use to, to tight a screw, right? Yeah. Where can I buy a screwdriver? In a hardware store, right? You can buy it in a hardware store too. What else? Girl, okay, girl, this question for you, girl. I need to buy a lipstick, but not for me, okay? It's for my wife. I need to buy a lipstick. In a beauty store. Oh, okay, thank you very much, my auntie. Okay, you can buy a lipstick, okay, a lipstick in a beauty store. Okay, or in a department store, right? Okay, what else? You can know. buy PlayStation in a game store. Yes, that's correct. You can buy a um, play, uh, PlayStation in a game store. Okay, do we have here in the Salvador uh, makeup store only for makeup? Is there a store in here? Yes, only makeup. Okay, so then you can buy, for example, if you need to buy uh, eyeshadows, okay, if you need to buy lipstick, or for example, uh, blush for your cheeks and everything, okay, then you can go to a makeup store. Okay, what about if I want to buy some? Uh, Soccer shoes. A good and nice pair of soccer shoes. Where can I buy them? What is, what is soccer? Soccer is that? Soccer is a sport. Exactly then, what kind of a store? Uh, well, I don't know, shopping center. Uh-huh, then you can go to a sport store, shopping right? Center. Yeah. Go to a shopping center and you will find so many sport stores that you can buy soccer shoes, many other stores. okay? So then this is the idea, right? To find, uh, for example, what kind of uh, objects you can buy. For example, you won't tell me that uh, you can buy a shirt in a hardware store. No, it's not possible, okay? So you can buy a pair of shoes in a gas station. No, right? So, but you can, where can I get gasoline for the car? Station. Uh, where can I get diesel for the for the car or for the truck? Then the gas station. Uh, I need that for the for the motorcycle. Where can I get it? In the gas station. Okay, good. Questions? An equation, equation. Okay, 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 good. So this is the introduction to this. Let me say that is uh, here something like a knowledge check. Listen to Anderson's family family's conversation to answer the question. So we have four questions. The first question is, where is Jen, where is Jen going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Three options. What does mom need from the supermarket? Three options. What does dad need from the drugstore? Three options. Where's Mike going to go with his dad? Three options, okay? There you go. Page 87, exercise two, listening. 
I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. 3. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. 4. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay. Would you like to listen again? Or you can answer a first question. Where is she going to buy the swimsuit? At the department store. At the department store? So, what does mom need from the supermarket? Cookies for dessert. for dessert. And the number three? Aspirin. Mm. Okay, from the aspirin. Aspirin. Where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the drugstore. To the drugstore to get a newspaper. Okay. So you see, this is the, the spray for listening is uh, first read the questions, then play, and after that, you go reading the questions one by one. Okay, these are some tips, okay, some strategy that you can use when you have some listening exercise. Okay, and then just for you to see and know what we're going to have tomorrow is this. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying hometown now. What does it mean? Uh, Sound natural is that sometimes you need to put some sentences or words together. Now listen to this is quick. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, where you see, where you see the, this little circle here, or the bowl, this is where you have the, the stress, right? And then it says post office. And also listen, they say post, but you join the two sounds, post office. No post office, post office. A gas station, gas station. Restroom, restroom. No restroom, restroom. Only if, if you want to probably emphasize, then you can say, hey, It's in the restroom, okay? Restroom, I said restroom. 
So this is if you want to be sarcastic or make emphasis. But normally the people say resting, resting. Coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, and the farming store. The farming store. Okay. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas the word by itself is a noun, station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is, whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. Tomorrow we're gonna use the bookroo.com okay, so that we can uh, practice this pronunciation. Okay, uh, you see those are compound nouns words that have you know, the two nouns actually and just to describe like the farming store sports store and then any kind of makeup store okay you can use all right so then that's all for today people but i don't know if you have any questions any doubts before we go alguna pregunta Okay, then uh, please, well, for tomorrow then, uh, we're gonna practice questions like, where can I get and where can, or where can, where can I buy? So we're gonna practice that question. <clears throat> and the answer is, okay, you can buy, for example, where can I buy a pen and a notebook? Okay, you can buy a pen and a notebook at the bookstore. Okay, uh, where can I, uh, uh, for example, borrow a book. Borrow a book. Well, you can borrow a book in a library. So when I say this, you can library and book. That's the practice for tomorrow. Okay, people, have a very good night. And see you tomorrow, okay? okay. Goodbye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.